For many years, Florida and Arizona have led the nation in the retirement industry. This afternoon, Marie Handy joins us to tell us that Louisiana is holding out its plate for a slice of that retirement pie. Is mm, that right? Yes, John, but I never think that any of us considered ourselves an industry. But let me tell you about a few revelations I've had about senior citizens. In Florida alone, Social Security checks pumped $1 billion into their economy every month in 1985. And retirees' income accounts for almost half of Florida's personal income. Astounding. But these are collective facts. What does one senior citizen contribute to a community? You've added a citizen to your community who will be an active player in the role, in the, in the community service roles. You've also added someone to your tax roles. You've created business for your real estate, for your grocery stores, for your furniture stores, for your restaurants. People love to eat out after they're retired. Why not? The things that attract retirees to Florida and Arizona are many of the things that flourish abundantly in Louisiana. A warm climate, low cost of living, cultural and recreational facilities, and a sense of community and family values. But we have kept these things to and for ourselves too long. The Cajun craze in foods has finally swept the nation. Let's help the Cajun state make its mark. 1990 has been proclaimed Louisiana Open House Year by Lieutenant Governor Paul Hardy. It is a program designed to rebuild our economic growth. One major inducement will be the retirement industry. That's where we can help. Let's lure our friends to Louisiana to rebuild our population that was decreased by one quarter million during our economic crunch. We don't need the fame of a Mark Twain or a John James Audubon to promote our state. We need you as our personal ambassadors. No one can represent us better than you. You're a living proof as a contented resident. There's lots of irresistible literature available at the Office of Tourism in the Capital Annex or by calling 342-8141. And you know, I forgot to tell everybody last week that there are several telephone numbers of people to contact for tax assistance or information. We'd be happy to give them to you if you call us during business hours. And you know, the things that I have are about free tax services, so I think that maybe some people would want to call. All right, free tax, that sounds good. <laughs> Thanks, Marie. <laughs>